modern ambitious organisations, be they in the public sector, colleges or in the private sector, uh, need to understand the metrics, the data associated with those organisations. And at College Cambria, we're very ambitious. The merger in 2013 brought together four previous colleges to form what is now College Cambria, one of the largest colleges in Wales, but one of the ten largest colleges in the UK. We're quite a big organisation with about 1,500 staff based over seven sites, so it's quite complicated. I think the message that comes through if you want the merger to work is that in every single way it's about trying to converge and that's what Active Dashboards provided for us. It was exactly the right time to have a project that brought together different systems from different legacy colleges, different approaches. The biggest thing that Active Dashboards has allowed us to do is report real time across all the sites. Everybody sees the same information. What we actually found, which was really interesting, the more we used Active Dashboards, the more we wanted from it and the more demanding managers became of it. Dashboard has had a huge impact in terms of saving our managers time, effort, energy through having easily accessible information. It's accurate, it's up to date. It's on my iPad, it's on my laptop, it's on my desktop. I'm able to compare and contrast data and cut the data in a way that I need to to bring about quality improvement. We can then use that data to inform our workforce planning, both day to day in terms of operational decision making Making, but also at a very strategic level in terms of planning the year ahead, the next three years and how we invest. We have a number of databases in place. We use Carvel for our HR management system. We use Passport for our professional development. We use Azolve for our staff utilisation. It will talk to any database, any spreadsheet, and pull all the information together. I'm able to bring in absence records of staff, enrolments, profiles of learners from decile areas, gender profiles, further information with equality and diversity, performance, retention, attainment, successful completion. I'm also able to drill the data down. We can use our workforce profile information, we can combine that with our professional development information through Passport for some strategic planning in terms of how we invest and prioritise our spend around professional development. Like the rest of the public sector in the UK, we've had to face big reductions in funding over the past few years and there are more to come, I'm sure, unfortunately. To respond to that, manage through that time, but also keep our learner performance at the top level, you really need to get hold of your data very quickly. Be prepared to understand and cope with real-time changes. Active dashboards has been an important part of making that work for us. Looking at your performance isn't just about looking once a year at it and then reporting to your governing body. It's a 24-7 operation. The, the biggest was its income generator is obviously student numbers. The journey from initial indication from a learner all the way to enrolment is monitored through the active dashboard. If there is a break in any of those stages and, and we run the risk of losing a learner to a competitor, we're able to identify what are the issues that may stop them from, from choosing us uh, as their provider of choice. Key performance indicators for us as a college drive from the Minister's priorities to identify and improve learner success from lower decile areas. What we needed to do was to monitor their performance on courses and bring it to our attention on a daily basis. Using active dashboards, we've been able to support quality improvement and ensure that the learners from the lower decile areas of North East Wales are very, very successful. The data is replicated in exactly the same way as an Eston inspector would look at the information. So if you're given a short notice inspection and the conversation regarding what is going on in their particular area, it is not a surprise. We're able to identify support or quality improvement or key performance actions straight away and we're able to have meaningful conversations about those. A really good example where we've been able to use the data from Active Dashboard to make some immediate changes to the way we work is around sickness absence. So my team are working really closely with managers across the college to look at their data so we can then put in support for the manager, the staff and we're already seeing those reductions happening. The active dashboards have been really supportive in improving standards in our hair and beauty curriculum area. We've been able to really hone in on learner numbers, enrolments, current performance and also successful completion. Since we've been using the active dashboards, we've brought about a successful improvement of 13 percentage points in overall learner success. This now sees College Cambria ranked at the top of the first quartile of all colleges in Wales. When merger took place, there was expectations where that was its two merged institutions, grade one, 
might be a dip in, in performance in the first few years. With the introduction of the active dashboards, we are looking at a 6% success rate increase. Our success rate and our financial performance is the best in Wales. The second for work-based learning, we are now clearly Wales' leading college and one of the best in the UK. We're absolutely clear that using active dashboards is a key part of that success. I would really recommend Active Dashboards for other further education institutions. It enables me to monitor and track over 2,000 further education learners. It enables me to lead and manage over 200 members of staff. And at the heart of all of this, I'm able to monitor quality improvement to ensure that College Cambria is the most successful college in Wales. I must say, I found that the team at Active Dashboards have been amazingly good at responding to fit the needs and ambitions of one of the top colleges in the UK. I would wholly recommend it as, as a real consideration for colleges if they share the ambition that we have.